Teachers of tiny humans, do you need some fall sensory bin ideas? I got you. This video has four separate sensory bin ideas. They all use the same filler because who has time to change out the filler? Let's just change out the props. Whether you are a parent, a teacher, a grandparent, a daycare provider, we all know that you need ideas that are going to keep kids engaged, that are easy, that are low prep, and that are fun. Go ahead and add this one to your favorites now. Hit the like button and the subscribe because I have got you covered. I like to make sure I'm including at least one imaginative play sensory bin every month because imaginative play is storytelling and it helps kids learn their place and the place of others in the world. It feels trivial and silly, but it's really important. For this bin, we're going to dress a scarecrow. I made a simple paper doll set for the bin. I can share it if you're interested. Just let me know in the comments. Then I put a magnet on the back of each piece and put them in a simple bin of pumpkin seeds for kids to play with. That is absolutely open-ended play at its finest. This bin is going to focus on some fine motor skills. I took a spool of thread. That's what I used because it's what I had. Styrofoam or Play-Doh would absolutely work for this too. And jammed a pipe cleaner into it. Then I used more pipe cleaners at odd angles to make the branches of a tree. I took some silk leaves and cut a little slit in each one. I did this while I was watching TV because it takes some time, but it's 100% mindless. Now kids put the pipe cleaner through a hole in each leaf and fill out the tree. I've also seen this done with buttons, which is a fabulous idea if you have buttons around and skips the whole cutting step. Either way, kids are getting some amazing fine motor practice. This is potentially our easiest sensory bin yet. Literally all I did was drop some feathers and toilet paper tubes into my pumpkin seed sensory filler. Now I'm putting in tongs for kids to grab the feathers and put them in the toilet paper tubes, or if they're not quite ready for that, they can do it by hand. And that's it. Providing open-ended play doesn't have to be complicated. Let's make a turkey sensory bin. I'm using the same pumpkin seed filler that I've been using all month. There's no need to make things harder than they need to be. I grabbed a few toilet paper rolls, glued a basic turkey body to one of them, set them all up in a tail feather configuration, and put a different colored feather in each tube. Now throw some pom-poms or snap cubes or counting bears, whatever you have that's different colors, into the bin. Kids can sort them into the tube that matches their color. So simple, but kids will do this forever. There you go. That is four different sensory bins, all easy, all low prep. You have four weeks worth of fun activities for kids. Go ahead and hit subscribe if you want more sensory bins and make sure to follow my shorts. I put out a new sensory bin idea every single week. And check out some of my other sensory bins in the meantime.